Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about 16 Blocks and this movie is directed by Richard Donner and stars Bruce Willis and I thought it was fine overall and it was basically a movie that was in ways trying to capture Lethal Weapon and to kind of go back to that and have like a really awesome action movie that would be a lot of fun and this movie does a okay job at uh, replicating that not entirely but in this movie it's uh, two characters on the run and uh, they're trying to get to, to a courthouse uh, because uh, that's where they're supposed to be and uh, a bunch of uh, guys are trying to kill uh, the witness and uh, that's the movie basically and it's just under two hours and it's not boring I was entertained and there was a couple of things that I kind of liked. I liked Bruce Willis in the movie. The guy Bruce Willis was protecting, uh, I forget the character's name, uh, uh, Eddie is the character's name. Uh, I thought he was going to be really annoying throughout the whole thing, but uh, he never got on my nerves and I thought he was a fine character and I was never upset with him in the movie and uh, he was never the issue for me. The villain of the movie was fine. Like you kind of get what the villain is trying to do and you get their motivation and everything is fairly straightforward and simple and nothing super complicated ever happens in, in the movie and that's kind of one of my issues with the movie is that while nothing complicated happens at the same time there's not much going on for this movie there wasn't really anything new that I haven't seen in any other movie already. And the action in this movie was fine, serviceable, I guess. But there are so many other action movies that I can think of that are just much better than this. And like Die Hard movies are much better than this. And it kind of reminded me of Die Hard uh, with a vengeance at points. Uh, just because you're just moving around from place to place trying to get to one location. Well, in Die Hard with a Vengeance, they're not just they're going to one specific place the whole movie. They're going at these different places to try and get de defuse these bombs. <laughs> and they have like a limited amount of time to do so. And that's what makes it engaging is that it moves it really fast and you feel like there's no time to breathe. And like you like the characters and they're interesting and... Bruce Wells and Samuel L. Jackson, they play off well with each other and they have great chemistry and uh, all that uh, makes it engaging for me to watch. But in this movie, there isn't really much going on. The action is uh, just, it happens. And the story, there isn't really much to grab me in it. And outside of uh, the action, there isn't really much holding it up outside of that. And uh, the music is pretty weak. I thought it was pretty forgettable and... Uh, most of this movie was very forgettable and I've already forgotten most of it and I just watched it today and I, I'm struggling to remember certain things and the only thing that I can kind of remember as part of like a small tiny thing in the movie and the only reason I remember this is because I've never heard a single movie from what I can remember. No movie ever has done this from everything that I've seen. It references Yu-Gi-Oh. That was the first time I've seen a movie reference Yu-Gi-Oh ever. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and when that happened, I was like, oh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh was uh, pretty big uh, back in like 2006. <laughs> That's when it was kind of blowing up and getting really, really popular. Or it was uh, pretty popular at the time and... <laughs> It, it was still, it was getting much bigger as it uh, went along. And like, for those who don't know, I, I'm going to get off uh, track for just a minute. Uh, in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, from what I remember back when I was really into it, I, I think it like uh, peaked in like 2008. And that's when Yu-Gi-Oh was like at its best for a lot of people. And 2006 is when it was kind of building up to be really good and... Or, sorry, really big, and 2008 was like the peak. And I, I just wanted to share that because I thought that was... It, it just made me think of that, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. 
and it was kind of a joke that uh, Bruce Willis's character was a little out of touch and didn't really know what was popular around him because his character, he's like kind of an alcoholic and the guy he's protecting is just saying like, you need to you know, get in touch with a lot of the things that are like mainstream or, or just like really popular. <laughs> the scene was like something like that. And that's why I remember that reference to Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's like the only thing that I can really remember about the movie. Most of what's going on in this movie, it just doesn't really add much to the experience. And there's quite a few side characters in the movie that they don't really develop at all. And sometimes they give them a little bit of something, but it doesn't really add much to the film. And by the end of it, it's like, you were there to, I guess slightly add something to the story but by the end of it if you were to remove that character you wouldn't lose anything and I'm just a little confused as to why they were in the movie at all and one last thing is that you should probably know uh, apparently this movie has two versions the theatrical cut and the alternate ending and the version I got does come with the alternate ending but I didn't watch that version. I just watched the theatrical cuts. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe the alternate ending uh, is uh, much better. Maybe it's worse. Uh, I'll never know. I'm probably never going to watch this movie again. Uh, if I really want to, and I'm just that encouraged to do so, then maybe I'll come back to it just to see what that alternate ending was like. But I don't think it's going to improve my experience, unfortunately. And that's about all I have to say about 16 Blocks. There isn't really much to talk about with this movie, mostly because I've forgotten most of it, and the things that I do remember aren't great. Like, they're just serviceable, fine, and what you would expect. So, unfortunately, I cannot recommend that you check out uh, this movie, simply because it's, it's, there's nothing exceptional about it. It has some good stuff, I guess, but... Overall, it's just not uh, worth your time. And with all that being said, I'm going to give 16 Blocks a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of 16 Blocks and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Rush. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, Thank you for watching and have a great day.